Hi guys, just arrived at the gym. It's I came really from I came uh, from Mini Bar. Hazar came from like two minutes. I don't care. Hazar came from like two minutes away and she still managed to get here late. But it happened. <laughs> Do you know how it's happened? Oh yeah, it's we're just gonna go. No, through. Bro, it's raining. Yeah, we're going in, it's raining now. Hey guys, guys. Hey, London. Oh, there it is. So cute. Just got back from the gym and now we're on our way to our lecture. We're running there, so. <laughs> Get it. Mm -mm. I think we're playing right, Emma. Very thin. Hi guys, we're on the search for good lighting. Whoa! We're just like blocking the lighting. We just finished our lectures and now we're going to go have lunch at Hazar's accommodation. Actually, this lighting is amazing! Severa. Today in clinical skills we're doing an abdominal abdominal um, examination. Oh, yeah. So we're going to test all the nine regions of the abdomen yeah. and check the spleen. And like we're going to palpate the organs as well. It's quite cool. But yeah, we're going there now. We won't be able to record because of like confidentiality reasons, but we'll see you guys later. I'm with my friend Rosa. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. just on our way to anatomy. Hi guys. <laughs> Guys, stop staring at me. <laughs> They're actually judging me right now. Hi. So today we're doing a PBL mm -hmm. and um, we were given a case that we had to go do some research on. We usually meet together at 9 a.m. and um, we read for a scenario that we find on a website called QM Plus. We come up with some learning objectives. We have a script for someone who writes, draws the diagram and a chair, someone who kind of like conducts how the PBL runs. And then at the end of the PBL session, which is usually an hour, we um, go about our own way, do some research, and then next time we come back and we bring our research and information together and do a short test to test our knowledge. Hi guys, so we just finished our two lectures for the day and we're on our way to the shop to get some food to eat because I'm really hungry. Meal prep is a joke. We can't meal prep. It doesn't so work. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm going to be a shoe Sunday about meal prepping in 2020. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh my. I'm going to take my elevator from the first floor to the ground floor. Yes, I like that. My I thigh is really high. Do your cool down, guys. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to Journey to Journey to Food. I was thinking you're gonna say like journey to chef. Journey to cook. We need some noodles. We have some tomatoes in the air fryer. We're gonna eat 
for a bit before, and then Hazar has your PBR on. Oh, really. And then I'm gonna go library, cheeky little library search. What me and Hazar do is we type up our lectures, mm -hmm. we'll download it in the form of a PowerPoint, and then in the notes section, we'll type up what the lecturer's saying and make it more concise and probably put in our own words later. Because we're in different groups, her PBRs yeah. are in the morning, my PBRs are in the afternoon. Yeah. Just finished our PBR. What was this PBR about? Do you wanna tell them a bit about what it was? It's that gold. Gold, which is gastro. Esophageal reflux disease. And We're actually ready for students. We're actually cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Hi guys, we just finished from the library and now we're going home. home. It's been a very productive day. But I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been I'm tired since our second lecture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> Morning guys. So today's Wednesday. It's around 9am and today our lectures start at 11. So it's still got a bit of time. You guys might be wondering why I'm not at the gym. Why me and Lydia are not at the gym today because we go gym Monday and Wednesdays. But um, Bruh. I don't know. I woke up at like 7. And I was being a proper adult, so I cleaned my room, I did my dishes, I did some laundry, had breakfast. I've had to miss breakfast so many times because I just end up waking up late. Like, my sleep pattern is it's not the best, so I just end up waking up late. And then I need to go to my lecture, so I can't have breakfast. But I'm trying to work on that. I'll see you guys in the garage. So right now, I'm on my way to Royal London Hospital to meet with a paediatric consultant that I'll be shadowing for my self-organised SSE. And SSE is a student-selected component and it's like you get two weeks to kind of venture out. The university actually offers you with opportunities to do like hypnosis and dissection. So I wasn't really feeling <laughs> any of the options. So I decided to self-organise. Um, for one of them, I'm going to be doing a week at obstetrics and gynaecology department. And then for another SSE, because we get two during the year in first year, I'm going to be doing a week in a paediatric department, which I'm really excited about. Hi guys, I found my twin. I'm looking at her, I'm looking at her. Good morning guys, I'm going to go anatomy and then I'm going to go see a doctor for my SSC like Lily went to see one yesterday. Hi guys, so I'm back from anatomy. It was actually good. We learned about the tongue, the esophagus, the pharynx and there was like actual human tongues like from dead people. I think that's the first time I've actually been creeped out with anatomy. The tongue just looks weird but yeah, I'm in my kitchen now. I'm going to eat some food and then I need to go to Newham University Hospital to meet with the doctor. Hi guys, so today I had med sock. I obviously couldn't vlog um, my patient visit, my patient discussion today because um, we were not really allowed to give out that information. But if you do follow our Instagram page, journey.2.med, it should be popping up somewhere here. Okay. We do give a detailed um, 
kind of a detailed reflection yeah. on how our med stock goes, how it runs. We're currently doing metabolism. We learned about the gastrointestinal tract. And then today I saw a patient that um, has issues with his bowels, which is part of the gastrointestinal tract. So you're not just hearing about these conditions, you're meeting someone that is actually experiencing it as well. So it's really a great opportunity. That's what I would strongly suggest for you guys for our Instagram page so you can really understand how Medstock runs at Butts in London. Yeah. We're now gonna get ready to go to netball training. We'll see you later. Oh, that's the thing, because I think it looks good. This is good.